Good morning, everybody. Unless it's afternoon where you are, I'm not quite sure. You are looking live at my living room and I am in the corner of my living room. I like this corner right here because the chi is really good here. Do you feel it? Can you hear it? I can feel it and I can hear it. But anyway, I was reflecting this morning during my hour and one half workout about my learning curve when it came to diet and nutrition. And I was reflecting back to the mid 90s. And I have a funny story I need to tell you about where I came from. I was bamboozled by the whole low fat, no fat diet craze back in the 90s, which a lot of you probably are and a lot of you can probably relate to exactly what I'm about to say. So I made it a practice. I used to go to uh, Shadowbrook in Tunkang, Pennsylvania, line dancing. Yes, I was a country, country guy back in the day. And I would go on Wednesday and Sunday nights. And afterward, I built up this massive appetite and I would drive on over to Mr. Z's supermarket. And I would get a package of these potato rolls by the company called Martin's, which are these little small square ones you've probably seen before, which by themselves I might add are very boss and delicious. And I would then go to the next aisle over and I would get a low fat cheese whiz. You know cheese whiz with the nozzle on it? Mm-hmm, low fat. Then I would go and get myself a whole entire package about this bag of low fat or no fat fig newtons. And sometimes I would get the fig newtons, sometimes I would get the apple newtons, sometimes I would get the cherry, or sometimes I get the blueberry, depending on the mood I was in. Then I would get one of these big, huge, constructional sized bottles of Arizona iced tea. And I would justify all of it because it said low fat or no fat on every single one of those packages that I had gotten. I would then proceed to drive home and I would take a potato roll I would insert the nozzle and I would squeeze the cheese whiz. So I was packing these things with cheese whiz and I would eat the whole entire package by the time I was halfway home. Then I would start on the Fig Newtons and I would chomp away at those and I'd have about half a package left when I walked in the door and I have about half a container of iced tea. I would polish off the Newtons, finish off the iced tea and I was good for the night. Needless to say, I did this at least, I don't know, I did it twice a week for I don't know how many years, probably two years, maybe three. And the next day, I always felt like I got hit by a, a titanium bolt of lightning. It was almost like I was drinking a, a bottle of scotch the night before. The food hangover and the alcoholic hangover, I think, are quite similar. But you didn't have headaches. You just felt horrible, like a slug. So I was bamboozled by the low-fat, no-fat diet, and I could never realize why I couldn't get rid of this residual fat on my sides. And I was so obsessed with it that I was thinking of getting liposuction done. And I was like, why would a 20-something-year-old dude need liposuction? That's ridiculous. So I started changing the game. And that was my first step into this low fat, no fat craze. Needless to say, let's fast forward to modern times. If you still are entertaining the idea of watching your fat intake, please don't do it anymore. Low fat, no fat craze, that's ridiculous. It's passe, it's gone, it's done. It's a shame that I even have to bring this topic up anymore and it's, it's a shame it's even a thing. Always aim for balance in your meals. A balance of protein, a balance of carbs, a balance of fat. Balance makes perfect. I can't say that enough times. So always think in terms of eating clean and healthy fats, coconut oil, red palm oil, nuts, seeds, avocados, um, nut butters. Add these things to your diet, eat them all the time. They help balance your hormones, they help with brain function, they help with joint function, they help reduce inflammation, and they are a good source of energy as well. Don't be afraid of them. Now I don't say go to the other side of the coin and just eat fat all day long either. You always wanna strike a balance. I am big into balance. There's nothing wrong with the keto diet. Don't get me wrong for all you people out there that do the keto diet or paleo or whatever your choice is. But always keep in mind that your body, three macronutrients were designed for a purpose. Your body needs all three of them. You need protein for certain things. You need carbs for certain things. You need fat for certain things. Fat is quintessential for balancing your hormones, joint function, just like all those things I said. So don't neglect it. Make sure you eat it. Make sure you get it on a regular basis. Okay, good. Just want to get that off my chest. Till next time, this is K-Row reporting live from the corner of my living room. Peace out, folks. Make sure you get you some fat today. Fat builds that.